Hey guys, the Mom Inspector here with Danganronpa episode. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> like 30, 38, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we it, it's been a while. We've had some complications again. It's one of those times, like, gets to like. 13 or 14 videos recorded and then this shuts off but as always we are here with nachos and let us begin let us begin what? lettuce celery lettuce which Ki kind of lettuce kyoko ogami iceberg or romaine Makoto, I found something. We're not gonna talk about salads. That doesn't make for a good video. A good video is two dead boys on the ground. Sex. Y you did? Hey. You remember the wristwatch Taka always wore in his left hand? It has a bunch of weird liquid on it now. He, he did? <laughs> Are you so oblivious to the people around you? Do you just like other people that much? No, that's not it. Anyway, so you said he had a watch? So then. Take a look. It's broken. You can see the hands aren't moving right. It most likely broke when he had his encounter with the ins his ins uh, with his assailant. And if you notice, the hands are frozen just past six o'clock. So that would mean the watch was broken sometime just after six. That's right. But last night, Taka's watch definitely was broken. Oh, let me chew my nuts. Nacho is out of context. <laughs> Funny moment. Hey, you. How long are you going to keep us waiting? Taka's irritating voice. <laughs> I did that again. Irritated voice pierced the air as he starts he <laughs> stared pointedly at his wristwatch. <laughs> It's almost 10 o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all the little boys and girls. In other words... So if it worked at 10 last night, it couldn't have been broken at 6 p.m. Meaning it must have happened at 6 this morning. 6. Okay. However... Right. 6 this morning. <laughs> and that's not all. Look at Taka's left hand. He appears to be gripping something. You're right, there's something white in there. Makoto. Can you, try, skin? Can you try and pry it out? Wow, did you really go there? Have you ever looked at my skin? My skin's lavender, just like the rest of my body. <laughs> lavender? I mean, yes, bitch, look at it. My eyes are lavender, my hair is lavender. So are my insides. So it, everything is lavender. What about your blood? Yes. I am actually supposed to spray pink. Bruh. She's just staring. Uh, I want to I I hear Kyoko say bruh. Bruh. I can't. I just can't imagine Kyoko saying "bruh" in the fucking game. God, if Umi and Taka died, that's not very poggers, dude. Kill me. Me. Because. What? Rigor mortis has already set in. Boys are better suited to this kind of manual labor, right? Even though you are literally shorter than I am, have the stature and face of a girl and deserve to not be called a man anymore. 
and deserve to have your your balls clipped. Whoa, whoa, no. He still needs to impregnate me, so I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> Kyoko ASMR. Okay, just remember, I'm still only taller than a dead boy, and as tall as Owie. As much as I didn't Bro. want to, a grass talk his cold hand. So yeah, Makoto is... Wait, you're as tall, you're as, tall as Owie? Bruh. Y y your insides will match perfectly. <laughs> I, I need you to leave. I'm pretty sure you've already made that joke as well. As much as I didn't want to uh, grasp Taka's cold hand, the guy's cold hand was nearly enough to cause my heart to stop breathing. Wait, I already Beating. made that joke? That you, can, that you can fuck her easier? Yes. <laughs> we, we know the brain patterns of this man. <laughs> <laughs> After some effort, I was finally able to free the object from his tightly clenched fist. <laughs> A piece of paper? Hey. Was that all he <laughs> had in his hand? <laughs> yeah, that's it. By the way, Kyoko, do you know where this incessant laughing is coming from? It sounds like an animated <laughs> dog. I think we should kill it. <laughs> I mean, we are Japanese after all. I hate everything. <laughs> I I highly doubt the Japanese even <laughs> consider eating dogs, but that was a good joke. I think I think that's North Korea. And if I'm not mistaken, Kenya. I'm probably I probably am. But fast people probably eat dogs, but... <laughs> Just a little scrap of paper doesn't seem like much of a clue, does it? Is that right? I wonder about that. What countries in Asia actually eat dogs? Kyoko then turned to Ufumi's body. So then... He definitely looked like he ate some dogs in his day. He definitely ate some dogs, you know what I'm saying? Let's check if Fumi's body now. Perhaps he's left us a few clothes of his own. Okay. Some big old hot dogs. I... I mean, I did technically say that they got cameraed like chumps. That was pretty gay, not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Gay frogs, freaking frogs. <laughs> the biggest problem I have right now is the gay freaking frogs. The poor character was the one that turned the freaking frogs gay. It's how the killer was able to able to move with Fumi's massive corpse home of the gay frogs. From the nurse's office where he was discovered to the here, the repository. All the way from the first floor to the third floor and all, without anybody noticing it. Makoto, did Owie just enter your body? 
I can't just see how that's possible. <laughs> Further, it seems that Afumi died from a blow to the head. He was most likely killed using just the same referee, which was found in the nurse's office. But when we found his he body, was found in dead from a blow to the dick. Glasses were covered in blood. But that's physically impossible because his doesn't exist anymore. It's been enveloped by the stomach. Bruh. He's like a penguin. He, he or like he just he, he's like a he's actually like a flamingo. He has all his legs up in the feather. I remember, dude. I remember when I was so fat that I couldn't see. I couldn't. I, when I looked down, I couldn't see my feet until I bend over. Yeah, that's definitely something. Uh, Hifumi has not seen his feet even when he could bend over because he couldn't. Bruh. He he needs to I have. Touch my toes. He he needs to have somebody to come and clean them for him. Yeah, I couldn't touch my toes. But now they're spotless. Does that mean someone wiped his glasses clean? Did somebody also clean his feet? But that, but who would do that, and why? Celeste, did you clean his feet? Celeste cleaned his feet. Celeste did him a favor. A sexual so, favor? did you find anything? Indeed. I did, more than I expected to be honest. Celeste and Afumi, they've been getting along extra well. I'm sorry to break it to you, Makoto. Look at this. Security camera footage. And also a love note. A, a wad of paper? Man, I hope... I, I, I'm i sorry, I need to go... I need to go deal with this right now. She cheated on me. That's right. I'm very Bruh. sorry, Makoto. You go take... You go take a rest now. Or she could come with you to take a rest. If we had a hit it on him, I would be happy to. I know Sayaka died, and you had a. You can take a him. rest inside. Hidden. Indeed. He stuffed it in his pants, so I can only assume he did it on purpose. But you see, in his pants. Wait, so you? Why is that? It was just in his pants, not like his socks or something. I don't know what that means, but maybe I should oh, die so she'll gross. search my. So then <laughs> Makoto says, "Well, then maybe I should die so she'll search my pants." Hey. <laughs> anyway, I'll forget about that comment. Let's take a look at the you paper. Go ahead, it. Makoto, open it up. When I think of how it was stuffed on his pants, it's like kind of gross. Not gonna lie. It better be important to the or I'll never forgive you for this. A note? I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the equipment room at 6 a.m. So. That sounds very familiar. That's it? It's the same thing Hiro said when he was telling us the truth. However. Yeah, yeah. Last night someone slipped a weird nun on my door and they had to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> and here's what it said. Yeah, yeah. I found a hole maybe we could use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m., man. The time is different. Harry told us his note would meet at 1 a.m. But the note they wrote to a few minutes <laughs> to meet at 6 a.m. Is that right? Come. Hold on, just because of whom he had the note, does it meant mean it was meant for him? Huh? So part of this has been torn off, right? I think there's likely some meaning here. Hold on. Bad allocation? 
Nope. Don't tell me it's bad allocation. No, nope, just a realization of something. Oh, I was gonna flip shit. Don't do that, that's not healthy. There's some meaning to the part of it break. being ripped. Um, could you maybe explain it a little more? Yeah, explain, come. Think carefully. Hey. Inside of you. Why would it be? What? Why would he have been clutching that that scrap of paper so tightly? I have no idea. So then. What if it wasn't just a scrap of paper when he was holding it? What if it was something more important? And how would something important like that become a mere scrap of paper? That's what you need to answer. Okay, the new Tifimi head. Hey. And while we're at it, I, I should tell you one other thing. The two victims this time definitely have their e-handbooks on them. So the handbooks have nothing to do with how the murders were carried out. Not that there was any reason to think there were they were connected to the killings in the first place. So you're saying I don't have to think about the handbooks this time, right? Is that right? If you didn't have to think about them at all, I wouldn't have gone out of my way to mention it. So I said, all I said was that there were, they weren't used to help carry out the murders. There may become a point, however, where a handbook may be or play a role. A handbook may play a role? I don't think I understand. But if Kyoko thinks it's important, I'd better keep it in mind. Is she like a tutorial bot? Like at this point. <laughs> tutorial oh. bot. Oh. A body's been discovered? Are you pumped? It's time for the class trial to begin! Like the bright burst of fireworks, like the flash of a soul clashing with light. Flash bang. And so, with no flash bang. Ado, everyone, please meet at the usual spot. Flash Make bang. your way to the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. It would seem. It's unfortunate, but I suppose this is where our investigation comes to an end. I like that Kyoko has probably only been here for like 15 minutes, and yet she's probably have the, the entire murder just, just solved already. Bruh. You'll have to figure out the rest for yourself and come to the proper conclusion. Yeah, you, you're right. Shall we go? Well, we better get going. Uh, uh okay. Oh, All right, bet. we're in the purple hallway, and then the gray hallway, and the red door. Purple hallway. The haunted Hathaways. Everyone we are the Hathaways. Everybody had heard Monokuma's proclamation, and they were gathered by the red door. You know, the owl boobs... The muscle girl, the scary princess, Owl the boobs. serial killer, the, the detective, the dumbass, and the douchebag. No, not the douchebag. We got the we got the all legs man. <laughs> the all legs man. Dude is three quarters leg. <laughs> You're not wrong. Oh, Jesus. You're you're not wrong. Like literally his his legs are the size of the text box. And even more so. Oh my god. Everyone had heard Monokuma's proclamation and they were gathered by the red door. The dude can't have a fucking belly button. As soon as we were, we were all there, it's just the Peter Griffin meme where she, he's a girl and he's all legs, nothing else but a head. <laughs> and as soon as we were all there, oh, what the, 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 hello, hello, hello. Anybody named Chad? Anybody? 
Nasty name shed. <laughs> Why is that true? <laughs> because it's just true. Okay, I'm let's. I'm not fucking wrong, and you can't say I am. <laughs> yeah. hmm. He's multiplied. Wrong. No, nope, not multiplication. It just looks that way because it's an illusion. I'm moving so fast, and only it only looks like I've multiplied. <laughs> Can you guys tell which one is the real Monokuma? No, because my mouth doesn't move. Get wrecked, nerds. <laughs> Get wrecked, nerds. <laughs> oh no! Why is this? Really got me for a second. Can we get on the elevator already? Boy, tough crowd. You're not playing along, along, along. Stop talking. We're not here to play with you. Okay. Batman. Okay, okay, fine. Hey, hey! And if everyone's here and need to go, please aboard the pain train er, elevator. I'll see you guys down there. Let's go. Yo, mama. Okay then, shall we, Batman? Please. Hold on, I'm not mentally prepared yet. You will never be mentally prepared. What the heck? <laughs> You'll never be. <laughs> oh my god! You'll never be mentally prepared. You can't run away anymore, hero. You're gonna pay for your sins. I don't want to be Booba Girl. Oh man, Booba Girl getting pissed off. Who booba, who, her booba gonna jiggle too much? No. Stop. I told you already! I didn't do it! For serious! That reminds me. Did you have a friend that, that has a costume with a note? <sighs> <coughs> um, well, no, but... <laughs> How unfortunate. Then it would seem we have our culprit. Uh, <laughs> Bro, you did that exactly how his voice actor did. <laughs> Bruh. This is this isn't the place to talk about it. Save your accusations for when we get into the courtroom. That's right. <sighs> Sorry, I had to yawn. She's right. Let's get down there first. Then the story can really begin. Yeah, good idea. That's right. Yeah, that, yeah, I Batman. Have to, I have to do it. I have to defeat Joker. I can't let whoever killed Afumi and talk and get away with it. Biakia, for everyone who's still alive, like Aoi, and for the two that lost their lives, Chihiro and Sayaka. <laughs> the one who killed Fumi and Taka, the one who killed two of her friends, the killer is. Yes, the only ones. Yes, the only ones who died were Jiro and Sayaka ever. Yes, there definitely were not anybody named Leon, Junko, or Mondo, or Taka, or Hifumi. Someone right here. Uh. I'm willing, or me, I'm, me. I'm willing to bet it's you. Because you're the least likely suspect. Okay. I took one last deep breath and exhaled slowly. I began I began to walk toward the elevator. Once everyone was aboard. Okay. The doors closed on their own. And the steel box began to move. Oh god, Yo, it's so empty. <laughs> The clunking of the elevator kept us company as we fell further and further down. There was no going back. Until we settled all this, we couldn't go anywhere. One person would not be coming back from this elevator ride. Yo, mama would not be coming back. I'm not sure how long it was before the elevator finally came to a stop. The elevator door slid open, opening up to a cruel fate. Mm, that's an interesting... Yo, mama opened up to a cruel fate, bitch. 
<laughs> well, I see you, all, you have all gathered together like this. I realize just how few of you there are left. Your school life is slowly reaching its climax. Just the worst. Come. Of course, Owie would appear. Only because of you. Why? Why are you making us do such cruel things to each other, man? What? Well, what? Do you really hate me that much? But I'm so cute, and also, why do you sound like that? You're weird. Come on. Stop goofing around and begin the trial. Oh, well, I just realized something good. Now Monica and... <laughs> Monokuma and Hifumi's voices can't overlap anymore. Monica! <laughs> I just Monica! I mean, they are equally evil, so... So far, it seems like it, man. Stop goofing around and begin the trial. Don't rush me, of course I'm gonna start it. I would never be like, stay tuned for the next action back clash trial after this commercial break. I never hold you. I never hold on out on you like that. Okay, let's begin. Get to your assigned seats. And so the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly a clash deadly trial. Pancake? A deadly pancakes? Yeah, I guess we should save this. Yes. Okay. Now that death has been saved, uh, set skills. Cause we got, we got another one, if I'm not mistaken. Menacing focus. Increases the focus gauge by five. That's not bad. Not bad indeed. Algorithm, melodious voice, all the dead, all the dead, all the dead. Kiyotaka. I forgot his name was Kiyotaka. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So yeah, we just know him as your votes Taka. will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, cool, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then yeah, I'll punish Kiyotaka. everyone besides the black and and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Shush, Monokuma is talking. Now then, to Come. begin with, we already know who did it. Was that? <laughs> it was Hero. He does not have an alibi for when the murders took place, and we found him in that suit. Don't try and deny it. You killed them. <laughs> I didn't. Someone knocked me out. I, I was asleep the whole time. I don't know anything about it. Uh, hold on, Hero. We'll get you out of this. You're murdering milk. Murderer! Did you really just... Who are you calling a murderer? I am sorry to say, Hero, but we do have evidence. Blue <laughs> for the suit. Parts we assume were used to build it. And all of it was found in your room. You have to admit, the evidence is quite compelling. It points to you as having created the suit and wearing it while committing crime after crime. How many times do I have to tell you? I... I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is Hero really the killer? Or for anything else, we have to make that clear. Oh, okay, we're just jumping into it, okay. Yasa Hero's message. Everything we found in your room. Okay. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are all proof enough that you are the culprit. I, I, I don't know anything about that stuff. It's not true, it's a conspiracy. Hero, why? Why did you kill them? No, just Yasa hold Hero's... on a second. The hand, the handwriting. The blueprints didn't have the. Yeah, you're right, you, Makoto. Everything we found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are. No, it's wrong. Are we sure Hero really made those blueprints? What do you mean? Well, take a look at this. It's the note that Hero wrote. 
asking everyone to meet up after Alter Ego disappeared. The handwriting's obviously different, wouldn't you say? When you compare it to the blueprints. There's no way you could think the same person made both of them. Unless that person made it a point to disguise their handwriting. No, the differences are bigger than that, I think. Come on! I'm not smart enough to think of trying to change my handwriting anyway. So At least Mikoda, he admits it. Are you saying you don't think Hiro's the culprit? And he's not the only one. I think Hiro's innocent as well. Wow. What? Then who was in that robo-justice suit? Is it like Hiro said? Was there really someone running around in a second suit? The suspicious individual hidden within the suit. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell them who it was. And of course he passes it off to me. So, who was in the robo-justice suit? The suspicious individual in question, the one that must have been in the suit. The Illuminati. <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, it was Hero. I got it. But not Other than Hero. I can't think of anyone else it could have been. Obviously, he was the one in that particular suit. And we never found any kind of second suit. Then there can be no doubt. Hero is the prime suspect. That doesn't make any sense. You just said Hero didn't do it. It makes perfect sense. Hero was the suspicious individual in the suit, but he's not the culprit. Yes. So what you're saying is... That's right. The culprit in this case has nothing to do with being in the robo-justice suit. What? Now that's a bold assumption! And what reason do you have to make such a statement? You do have a reason, yes? Of course. But before we get to that, there's something else we need to clarify first, so let's get that out of the way. Hey, stop trying to boss us around! All things have a proper order. So, what is it? What needs to be clarified? We must clarify the method of transportation for Taka's lifeless body. Makoto, can you tell us what they were? It's just been two things, maybe more. Oh, would have been the, the dolly and the tart. I got it. I got it. Still one more thing. You know, we said the and the dolly. I got it. I got it. They were a dolly and a tarp, right? What's with the attitude? So, let's see if I can explain. Taka's body disappeared from the equipment room. And then we rediscovered it in the repository. And when we found it for the second time, it was wrapped in a blue tarp, right? It was the same tarp that up until then was stored in the equipment room. So the killer must have seen it there and decided to use it when they moved Taka's body. That way, they wouldn't leave any bloodstains while they were moving it. Okay, that explains the tar. And the dolly? Same thing. I'm sure the dolly was in the equipment room when we first found Taka's body there. But when the body disappeared, so did the dolly. Later, when Taka's body reappeared in the repository, so did the doll. In other words, you think they used the dolly to move the body, am I right? But are you sure you are not mistaken? Huh? Are you absolutely positive the dolly was in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? Taka. That dolly was made specifically for moving large objects between the repository and the art room. It would be very strange indeed to discover it had made its way to the equipment room. Is it not possible that it was in the repository all along and you simply didn't realize it? She's raised an objection. How do you respond? 
There is no shame in being wrong. Nobody expects much from you anyway. <laughs> My. We have all accepted the fact that you rarely understand what is going on around you. <laughs> That is so, oh my god. Well, I've never had anyone sound so nice for being so mean. But maybe I can change your mind. If I just, if I can just explain to them why the dolly must have been moved from their equipment room to the repository. Oh god, no. The bullet time, oh god. No, not this. Let's talk about reloading. Starting with this next bullet time battle, we're gonna add one more ingredient to the recipe because, of course, you are. <laughs> Underneath the tempo marker, you'll see your ammo count. Up until now, there hasn't really been a limit on how you could destroy your opponent's statements. From now on, you'll just locking on and pressing the laugh mouse button won't be enough to handle them. Now it'll cost you one bullet to destroy a single mark. Once you run out of bullets, you can't destroy any more statements, no matter how locked on you are. You can reload by press pressing the tab key. Just like clicking on, you'll press the tab key in time with the tempo marker. Oh, okay. Basically, just remember with that the tab key now has a function along with the RMB, RMB and the LMB buttons. It'll automatically reload at the fever time, and your ammo will not decrease. You don't have to reload at all. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I gotta not ignore that. I don't remember how to do fear for time, but here goes nothing. You have it wrong. I cannot agree. You are a fool. So pathetic. Lies will get you nowhere. Do your worst. Away with you. You miserable wretch. Agree. You are a fool. Lies will get you nowhere. Do your worst, you miserable wretch. You have it wrong. I cannot agree. You are a fool. So pathetic. Lies will get you nowhere. Do your worst. You miserable wretch. I cannot agree. You are a fool. Lies will get you nowhere. Oh, I did it. I did it. I cannot agree. This should prove oh, okay, that was close. That was stressful. Okay, I did it. If you're asking for proof that the dolly moved, I have it right here. When I found the dolly in the repository, one of the wheels had a blood stain on it. There was a pool of blood in the equipment room with a tire mark in it that matched the dolly wheel's tread. The killer probably rolled the dolly through the blood on accident as they wheeled the body out of the room. And as the blood dried on the tire, they moved the body into the repository. So there's my proof that the dolly was used to move Taka's body. Jesus, Celeste really hate me that much? Well, anyway, that was just something we had to get out of the way. Let's get back to the main subject. Yeah, the subject of how Robo Justice didn't do it. Because if it's not a killer robot, then what kind of robot is it? I'm not sure that really matters. I'd be happy to explain why the occupant of the suit couldn't possibly be the killer. If you look back on how the body was transported, it will become immediately obvious. If I look at how the body was moved, it'll be clear why the person in the suit couldn't have done it. What is that? What does he mean by that? Okay. A robo just as caustic. As we know, Taka was killed in the equipment room. Okay. And from there, the body was moved to the repository, correct? Yeah, the culprit wrapped the body in the tarp, then loaded it onto the dolly and wheeled it off, right? Now, keep in mind that the dolly doesn't have a handle. Well, yeah, but even without a handle, all you'd have to do is bend Wait. over. Then you can oh, push okay. the dolly no problem. I know what it is. So the killer just crouched down, 
You can't. The Robo Justice costume. Can't. If you accept everything we just said, then you must realize that whoever was in the suit couldn't possibly be the culprit. Uh, sorry. I, I don't think I realize anything. You never do, hero. As we know, Taka was killed in the equipment room. And from there, the body was moved to the repository, correct? Yeah, the culprit wrapped the body in the tarp, then loaded it onto the dolly and wheeled it off, right? Now, keep in mind that the dolly doesn't have a handle. Well, yeah, but even without a handle, all you'd have to do is bend over. No, that's wrong! That's Hina's bedtime practices. You're absolutely right that you could push a dolly without a handle if you stoop down low. But if you were wearing that suit, do you think you could actually get into a position like that? What do you mean? Think back to what you said when we were all checking out the suit together, remember? The fuck's the stream? Where'd the stream go? What the fuck? Oh, there it is. The stream disappeared. Man, why is it bad in here? Can't see my feet at all. Why do you go anywhere in this thing? Jeez, that always sounds like she's in a cardboard box. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Not to mention... You totally can't bend the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. When you're sounds in that muscle. suit, not only can you not see your feet, but you can't even bend at the waist. Bruh. Am I right about that? Now that you mention it, yeah. It seems like it'd be awfully hard to push that dolly if you couldn't bend over. Okay, I think that's where we're gonna end it off. So, anyways, guys, the Lum Inspector's out. Have a nice day, and we shall see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.